Yo, intro song, drop it, DJ. That's what's up. All right, let me turn the brightness all the way up. All right, audio all the way up. Got it. All right. Hey, how do you say your last name? Hey, Rumbos. 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 Thank, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. No doubt. You're in Florida? Yes, Miami. Word. Oh, my gosh. I got a question for you that just happened in Miami. I can't wait to ask you. Oh, gosh. I feel like I already know. <laughs> we about to get the life story. We about to get the real story, the factual story of what really went down at Miami Mall, guys. So stay tuned. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. It's January 13th. I'm super excited for this one. I got my water. And everybody tune in right now. YouTube, audio. All right. Everybody likes the intro song. Here we go live night now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yeah. Welcome, best friends. Welcome, listeners all around the world. It's your boy, Rico Suave, Latino Heat, the most electrifying podcaster in the world. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, Denver, Colorado. So all the way to Florida right now, Miami to be exact, January 13th. It's a cold one here in Denver right now. Zero degrees. I woke up to negative 11, and I had a show this morning. It was lit. It was fire. Guys, thank you so much for your support, watching, tuning in, telling your friends and family, doing a review, and um, doing a uh, five stars on the Apple and Spotify. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The numbers are going up. The numbers are going up. We're almost at 500 subscribers on YouTube, so it's just going really well, guys. So thank you, thank you. Today I brought us some treats. I got us an orange. Oh, right. Like, like you're like, oh, I'm going to Florida orange. <laughs> you already know. And I got us some apples. So if you guys are hungry or anything, don't worry. I got us all taken care of. All right, let's get into it. Our guest, no further ado. Woo! She's all the way from Florida, Miami, guys. Let's bring her in right now. She is a singer, songwriter. I can go on and on and man she's just here to bless us with their presence the incredible natasha rumbo oh yeah <laughs> Tosh baby in the house <laughs> yo what's up what it do wow that was thank you for that introduction what an energy like i'm pumped i'm here like oh my god let's get this going that's what it is from florida to colorado thank you so much for being on the show how is florida right now florida right now currently is always always something crazy going yep. on but yep. at least today we got some you know nice weather uh and you know and and always expect something to happen by the end of the day wow we need the nice weather right now i can't i can't even imagine what the temperature is over there but here it's freezing cold we're trying to stay as warm as we can we got the heaters up to 70 71 right now so yeah we're staying warm right now so you've been to colorado before yes i went to denver a couple years ago for yeah for the weekend and i went um i went to i forgot the name of the place i think it's called like love something Loveland or something. Yeah, I don't know, but we yep, went like, yep. Loveland. Yep. Yes. Okay. So we went there. We, uh, zip line. Yo, it was, it was, it was fantastic. It was a great time. Uh, we almost like a deer almost ran into us. So that was My. a very crazy experience. And I was like, well, that doesn't happen in Florida, <laughs> but it was great. I love Denver. I'm, I want to come back. We want to come back and, and continue exploring more of that, uh, beautiful state. Yeah, that'd be sweet. I've been to Miami. I've been to Miami, Orlando, Daytona, and it was a great trip too. So yeah, oh, I had a great, yeah. Yeah, I had a great I had an amazing time there. And where else? I went to Universal Studios over there. Yep, yep. You hit all the you hit all the spots. Yeah, great. It was good time. Good time. Next time I want to hit Tampa, Tallahassee, stuff like that. Yeah, more north. More. I haven't hit that north yet. I usually stay around South Florida, but. Yes, yeah, that's, that's that's something I got to do. Explore the rest of this uh, panhand this panhandle. 
Yeah, that'd be sweet. That'd be sweet. Hey, before we get into anything, I got to do the quick promo. So quick question. I got to do it real quick, guys. Everybody watching right now, listening, thank you for your support. The best way, my producer had to, intro- he had to bring me back in real quick. Yo, ArielENT.com is the best way to support. Book me for music, my podcast, and my amazing salsa, which is sold out. So I don't know why I'm even promoting it. Ariel's ENT.com, Ariel Salsa. Make sure you promote it right now. We got the merchandise too. Thank you guys for all your support. All right. Another way to support the podcast is the YouTube channel. And there you type in Ariel ENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, one to three episodes a week, dropping live shows. That's all I can tell you. All right. Thank you guys for all your support. Subscribe, subscribe, and subscribe. All right. I got a quick prayer here. I got the prayer here, and then we get into our guest. Thank you, God, Jesus, our guardian dear, to whom God's love commits us here. Ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, for having Natasha on the show. Thank you, God, for all the millions of listeners tuning in right now. Thank you, God, for um, for warm our warm helms. Thank you, God, for food, for our perfect health, for music, and glory be to God. Amen. All right, let's bring our guest back in. Natasha, please tell us, please tell us um, how we can support you and what you do. I'm Venezuelan. I was born in Venezuela. And when I was five, my mom decided to bring me to the 305. And uh, yeah, now now we're here. That is my Instagram that you're looking at right now. It's vocally Tosh. Uh, it's vocally because, well, I'm a singer songwriter, but I also do a radio show. Uh, at Ro- in Rochester, New York, called La Mega 97.5. So you can hear me there every Sunday, 4 to 8 on the app, or if you're in Rochester in your car. Uh, but yeah, I've been doing, I've been in the music industry um, since I was very young, you know, and, and I started off in middle school in, in a band. Uh, yeah, that's the station right there, La Mega 97.5 con la Tasha Rumbo. Yeah. <laughs> you just got my radio voice and um oh my god I just lost track oh yeah so I've been doing music you know since I was middle school went to high school started in, in chorus I did musical theater and then um you know fast forward to after college and it was like almost the pandemic I, I was working for a corporate job I found out that I was not really a corporate gal you know I needed to be you know, out and about talking to people, you know, entertaining them. And that's when I, you know, right when the pandemic uh, started, I felt that it was my moment to like really explore my musical depth and like my creativity and what I can do original wise. Cause I, before that I did a bunch of covers. Um, I was with bands, you know, would sing at restaurants and stuff like that, like top 40 songs, which I loved. And that made me more comfortable performing in front of people. And, um, you know, when pandemic hit, I was like, yo, let me, let me give it a shot. Let me try some original music. And, you know, living in Miami, there's a lot of tropical, there's a lot of reggaeton, there's a lot of dembo, Brazilian, there's a lot of everything. And I've always wanted to kind of dive into that genre. And now that it's more popular with having, you know, girls be part of that, you know, urban Latin scene, like we have, you know, Carol G, Natina Tacha, Becky G. So I was like, you know, if they can do it, why not Natasha, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, you know, that's that's where everything has been going on. I've been, I, um, I have a producer who's called DJ Breezy. He's actually a producer for Alex Sensation and for El Sol. And he has, literally, all the songs that I have, have out now, I've done with him. And they've been bangers. They've been bangers. You're looking at my link tree right now. That's a little... Um, little clip from my newest single which i want you guys to listen to it's called sugar daddy it's a very uh fun dembo song it's kind of like a light-hearted like you know about sugar daddies it's a huge thing uh you know everywhere in the u.s especially in miami you're always seeing you're always seeing sugar daddies everywhere i don't know if you see it in denver nope you know, nope you don't well in denver i guess they don't exist but if you come to nope. miami you come to the east coast Oh, uh, you're definitely going to see a bunch of sugar daddies with their sugar babies. And, you know, I had a friend who was always obsessed with having a sugar daddy, and she did. And, you know, I kind of, my song is kind of based on, you know, my experience, like, with her. Because she would take me everywhere that he would take her, you know, on trips to, like, fancy dinners and, like, all these, like, you know, 
luxury stuff. And yeah, I decided to make a song about it. And honestly, this has been my best song yet. It got Ariel, let me tell you, it got chosen by Spotify to be put in their official uh, Spotify playlist called Novedades Dempo. The first week it came out and I was like, yo, I've been manifesting this. I've been manifesting being on a Spotify official playlist. And this is my uh, fifth song. And, you know, we finally made it out there. We made it. You know, we, we got the we got the eyes of the editors and Sugar Daddy has been doing amazing. It got uh, two weeks ago. It ended up on Telemundo. Uh, wow. parte, estrenos musicales. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, it's, it's these past four years that I've been like, you know, and I don't have a team. I do this all by myself. Like I'm my own publicist. I'm my own manager. I do, you know, because everything is money. And and right now we don't got we're not in that place to be spending a bunch of, you know, money yet. So, you know, I've been having to do everything myself and, and I'm very happy with with my persistence and my dedication and where it has taken me, which is really, really great. No doubt. And we got your website right now, Natasha Rumbos Music.com. That's Natasha Rumbos Music.com. You can see a lot of live performances, pictures, live shows. Yeah, it's legit right now. Check out the website. It's very professional. And you can buy some merch. You can check it out. She's wearing the merch bucket hat right now. Sugar Daddy. And I just yeah, I released this in December, my official merch of Sugar Daddy. So if you guys want it, you can get it at my website. And, you know, I, sh I ship all over the U.S. The, the shipping fee is already included in the price, so you don't got to worry about that. But, yeah. yeah, these bucket hats are fire. The first patch that I sold, um, sold out real quick. So we're doing good. Yo, tell me, so what we got for the merch, right? We got the bucket hat, and we got, you dropped the bucket hat. Crop and top, uh, yes. Yes, we got some crop tops you can see right there. I have black and I have white, and it says Tosh Baby because that's like my little motto, my, uh, my little my little saying that I do in every song. I go Tosh Tosh Baby, it's Tosh Baby. So <laughs> it's a it's a I'm I'm getting hyped right now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt you're ready for the live show right now. Oh man, talking about live shows, it's it's been a it's been a very interesting. A year uh, and past for Art Basel Week, which you know it, it's held here in Miami. I got the opportunity to go and perform Sugar Daddy uh, live in a fashion show at a really crazy uh, uh, nightclub in at the Hard Rock. So I was able to like you know get my performance there, and it was one of the most humbling experiences. Uh, I you know I felt as an artist, you know I was surrounded by very talented um, artists that have been doing this for more than I have. And I felt like, wow, like, you know, I'm doing it. Like I'm, I'm getting in with the, with, with the, you know, with the people that are in. So it was very, very um, exciting moment. Yeah. It's a good moment. Plus you can network and start hanging, uh, you know, messaging them, messaging them be like, yo, if you need an opener, let me know. That was my whole point. Like I was like, yo, I'm here to network. I got a couple you know, I, I got all the artists uh, names and, you know, we did talk about because they all, they all live in different places. So there's this specific girl that was like, if you ever come to New York, like, let me know. And if I have a show, like you can definitely open it. So I was like, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's all about. Networking. Very important. Networking actually led me um, to in. 2022 was a really great year for me too. Um, I got invited to go to Las Vegas and I performed over there at a uh, for the Latin Grammys a showcase. So that was dope. That was very very cool. I met a lot of people in the industry. I got some amazing you know advice and and I found out a lot about myself as an artist. And um, I landed my first radio show as a radio show co-host. Uh, in, in, because of the showcase and everything. So, you know, networking, I can't stress enough how important of uh, that is very, very important. And you never know who knows who. Yeah. Right now I'm speaking oof, 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 fire. Yeah. I'm fire. You don't know who, who knows who, or, you know, networking, how, who's going to be watching what. Exactly. I'm saying I've, I've had a lot of. 
experiences that I never thought I was going to experience just being a, you know, a independent artist. And it's, it's been beautiful. It's, it's given me so much motivation and, and so much fire in me to continue uh, making music and continue pushing things out and, and seeing that every single that I take out always, there's always more people watching it, more people reposting, more publications wanting to talk about it. It's, it's very, it, it's very emotional for me. Great, great. Yeah, no doubt. When I get on stage and perform, it gets emotional sometimes. So I get it. Or, or uh, you're a singer, you're a musician. What do you do? Yeah, no doubt. I sing and play guitar. Yeah, so you know, you know the hustle, you know the hustle, and you know when you're doing it right, and you start seeing, you know, things flourish. You're like, yo, like I did it. I'm, I'm proud of myself, and that keeps you, you know, wanting more, and you are attracting all that great uh, things in your life. Yo, I'm telling you, after the show today, I was like, yo, I want more. I just want to get home and send out more emails. I want to get more bookings right now. The goal. That that is the goal. It's always. You know, reaching out to uh, usually for me, uh, social media has been so huge for me, especially Instagram DMing, um, you know, people has gotten me on, you know, shows, which how I got to you. Like yep, I found yep. you through Instagram and I was like, yo, I like what you're doing. And, you know, you're you're not interviewing like people who are already there. You know, you're interviewing those like emerging artists, you know, those people that have that passion, that fire that are really yep. talented. So yep. Yep. It, I was like, yo, I, I like, I, I want to be part of that. That's what's so, yeah. up. Yo, shout out to Natasha for the, for, for being a so real. That's what up. Thank you. I always try to be my, my best, my best self, which is, you know, real all the time. Yeah, straight up, straight up. Yeah, I thought it was real when you sent the message. So yeah, thank you so much for doing that, reaching out, checking out my work. And yeah, here we are today. Here we are today. That was a while ago too we booked this, maybe like a couple months ago. It was definitely before the year ended. So, and now 2024, have a lot of amazing projects coming up, which I'm really excited about. I feel like this year I'm focusing a lot on collaboration. Yeah, And, you know, we're going to have a, a couple, at least two songs that are collaborations coming out this year. And, you know, maybe I have, I can, maybe I can get a third one, depending on how much we are, you know, spending and making, because, you know, Miami is so freaking expensive, but, you know, we're making it work and, and we're giving it our all. And that's, what's important. You know, you're growing, you're, you know, and, and booking, booking, you know, more shows, doing more open mics, which um surprisingly it's, it's kind of hard to find open mics in miami i have i have found a couple yeah. but you know i would think there would be more more of them but yeah. yeah the focus is you know trying to get into as many places as you can yeah if you ever come to denver there's open mics every day another reason to visit denver yep another yep. reason yeah pull up hit up an open mic check it out man open mics here are actually good luck because Every time I pull up, I not only do I network and meet a lot of people, but I actually get booked for a show, like for, for being an opener. Yeah, so open mics here are lit. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't had that chance yet here in Miami, but I, you know, it definitely has helped me network. I yeah. haven't booked shows by open mic, but that that's, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah now no I, got, I have to do that in Denver. You know, if you come play here open mic, yo, people will be like, yo, they'll they'll gravitate towards you and be like, they'll want to they'll want to book you straight up, real fast. I've seen it. I've seen it. So it just keeps keeps you more motivated to come through, so you can do some open mics in Colorado. Hey, so uh, quick, I've been to uh, I went to Universal Studios. It was so much fun. I uh, I did the ET ride. What else ride did I do? I did all my, mostly all the rides. But uh, yeah, my girlfriend she did uh, like this roller coaster ride that was there, and I was like, no way, I'm doing that. But she did it. It was pretty epic. No, you said Universal Studios. So was that like the Universal Rip Rockets, like red, and there's like yeah, music yeah, blasting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. That's a cool. That's a cool roller coaster. I love that roller coaster. Oh, yeah, man, that's whack. I was like um you go for it and she did it i was like wow i was so impressed i was like that's awesome <laughs> good times yeah i went to the beach too i went to the beach too it was a lot of fun i went to daytona beach as well that was a lot of cool too but uh i gotta cut oh well, i want everybody to know where they can follow you real quick 
I want everybody to know where they can follow you real quick. And uh, Inst- okay, Instagram vocally Tosh. Uh, you can find all my songs on Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming platforms. You can find it my YouTube channel. Search it up, Natasha. You want to subscribe Google. right now? We subscribe yes. right now. There we go. Woo-hoo. We got Owen. I just got. I just got the notification that you subscribed to my channel. Thank you. That is. That's what I'm talking lit. about. That's how we build now each other. Yeah. There we go. There That's we go. It's all about supporting each other. Yep. So we build. So, each- uh, there's the YouTube, there's the vocally Tosh right there. You can see everything behind the scenes of Sure Daddy, all the publications um, that I've been on. And uh, short, well, soon enough, uh, you'll be, I got the privilege of being part of a, a game show that's airing on TV already, but my group hasn't gone yet. So I will be posting that on my Instagram. You'll be able to see that through Unimas. Um, it, that's you know located everywhere in the country, so you can definitely check that out. It's in Spanish. You're gonna die of laughter, but check it out. I'll be posting everything there. You gotta wow. listen to Sugar Daddy. Give me some loving on Sugar Daddy and uh, and the rest of my songs. You know, I got Brazilian funk. I got Latin pop. Uh, right now I'm working on an Afro beat, which would be coming out. Yeah. Um, it's all about this- the Afro beat. Yes, yes. I've always wanted to, you know, kind of dig yeah. into that genre. And um, I'm collaborating with an artist that lives in Orlando and he does a lot of Afrobeat. So we're Woo! right now currently working on the, you know, we're working on the lyrics and trying to like get the whole song put together. But yeah, that's an exciting project uh, that I will be releasing this year. But for now, we're just, you know, on Sugar Daddy and, and you know, Everybody got to listen to Sugar Daddy. It's a, even if you don't understand Spanish, you're going to love the vibe and the music video. The music video is a lot of fun. Well, this is why this is we're going to have Sugar Daddy as an exclusive. We're going to close it out. We're going to close out the podcast with Sugar Daddy. Okay, everybody. that is the best way to close it out. No, you got everybody so excited. You got everybody wanting to hear it, and they're gonna hear it at the end of the show, guys. So just stay tuned. I swear it's gonna come up real soon. I gotta ask her some questions finally. I gotta ask her some questions real quick because this podcast is going real fast right now, and she's real busy. Really? Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's yeah she's real busy right now. So we're gonna we're gonna get all down to it. Yo, please tell us um is is tell us what's your first love is it music singing or is it radio definitely singing and music if i can put those together that's always been my first passion same same, same for me oh, always always loved it um you know since i was a little girl i was always you know the one kind of entertaining the family at family party so it was already something that i just naturally gravitated to and that's always been, you know, my main uh, passion and focus is, to, you know, eventually make it to a place where, you know, I can inspire a lot more, uh, you know, up and coming artists to like, you know, get there. Yep. Yeah, it will happen. Yeah, I wish you tons of success in 2024. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Music and singing. That was the first question. We're going to go with the next one. Um, when did you start taking this serious? Was it five years ago, two years ago? The music game. It would be about five years ago, actually. Five years ago. Uh, no, six years ago, because it happened right when I graduated from college. So yeah. six years ago was when I, you know, I started working. And I was like, mm, let me, let me try the music. You know, let me, let me really put everything into it. And boom, six years ago, and and. You know, it's it's been a uh, it's been a beautiful ride. We've done a lot of great things. We've we've definitely passed. we've leveled up. You know, through those years. So yeah, six years. Yeah, definitely leveled up because it's big time right now. You're you're here in Colorado right now with the podcast game and about to throw it out there here soon. So yeah, it's big time right now. And you know what? I've been. Uh, the podcast game is um, strong right now. The views and numbers are strong right now on the podcast. So I'm so excited you're on the show. People are going to listen. People are going to watch. Natasha Rumbos in the building, guys. Let's go with the next question. Yo, Natasha, this one goes like this. What is the biggest, what is the biggest lesson you have learned being in the music game for six years? What is the biggest lesson you've learned? 
from booking, from touring, from singing, from writing, from bookings, from everything, from promoting, from marketing. Yeah, the biggest lesson. Biggest lesson. Um, tell us. Tell us, please. That's honestly con consistency. Consistency has been something that I have learned through the past six years. Sometimes it does get overwhelming, especially when you're the only one, you know, promoting yourself, writing, doing all this stuff. So it does get Straight up. overwhelming. It gets overwhelming. And sometimes you just don't want to do anything because you're like, I'm so tired of thinking. I just need a moment to just not think, you know? And, you know, I, I learned that consistency gives results. You know, the more you're consistent about, you know, posting every day or just posting stories or just like doing something that has to do with music every single day, you are elevating yourself. Yeah. Consistency, my friends, is very, very important. That's why where, you know, I've done things that, you know, other artists haven't done, but that's because of consistency. I'm consistent. I don't stop. And if I do, well, I, you know, I stop for like a minute. I'm just like, okay, continue, continue. Yeah. Yeah. I like what you're saying. Cause when you're saying consistency, it's kind of sound like what you're saying as well. Learn as you, you're learning as you're going. And, you know, and that, uh, you know, after and I'm a huge manifester so I've learned you know visualizing visualizing what you want what you want to be done is you know helps out a lot because once you visualize it you're like I can do it mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. if you're ready I can do it like you're gonna do it mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so when you visualize is this something you do every day is this a habit you taught yourself to do every day or do you do it when you first wake up or when you go when you go to bed I do it specifically when I wake up in the mornings. I always make it a habit to start it off like that. And then throughout the day as well, like when I remember or when I'm driving somewhere and I'm, it's just me in the car, I yep. just start thinking yep. and visualizing. Yep. And, yep. and that's, you know, I, I try to do that throughout my day. And that, you know, keeps me in a very good mood, keeps my spirits up high. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You know what your boy did? I wrote it. I write it down and I read it every morning and I read it. I put it, I put it, I put it in front of me when I'm at work. Um, I read it before I go to bed. I, I, I do it. I do much better waking up than I do at bed. In bed, sometimes I just pass out when I go to when I crash. But um, yeah, um, the moment I started doing that, I swear, my life, like, because on this paper I have my prayers and then my goals, like you, like the way you're talking about, and. Um, Yo, it changed my life. It's like the only things I want to do. I don't even want to go to clubs. I don't want to even go to like, I just want to, like, like you said, it's just all these, your focus is so built on what you want. I like what you're saying. Straight up. We're thinking, you know, we think the same. We have that mental uh, a thought of, you know, manifestation and, and, you know, speaking it out into the universe and the energies that you, you know, put out in the universe, the universe will you. give it right back yeah, to you. Yeah, no, yeah. it does. It truly does. I know. <laughs> Snaps to that. Sweet. I'm so glad we're sharing this. We got seven minutes left. I got a couple more questions. And we're dropping the we're dropping the video, the sugar daddy. I know everybody wants to listen to it first right now. But you know what? Are you watching any, are you watching the Miami Dolphins today? I'm not, I'm not watching it, but my boyfriend is watching the Dolphins game. And I was very concerned. I'm like, how are these players going to play in this freaking negative, you know, weather? But hey, you know, he, he told me they already canceled the, the Buffalo Bills one. So oh, they're not. They're not. I hope not. I've never heard no, of it. Oh, my God. They did. So, you know, I'm, I'm just like. I don't know, but I mean, it, it's a good, it's going to be a good game when they play, whether they like, when, when they play, it's going to be a really good game. Oh, but no, no if it, they play today, I'm not, I'm not watching it. I'll be, I'll be working. Sadly. <sighs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, uh, to be honest, I haven't looked at any news. I haven't looked at my phone. So you're probably right about that, but it's just so hard for me to even comprehend that because oh, and I'm I, pretty sure you're going to see that, that they moved it to Monday, me? I believe. Come on. I know. That's whack. All right. Anyways, we got the next question here. Did you uh, did you have some good holidays? Did you have a good New Year's and, and, and all that jazz? Yes, I had it. My cousin came down from Orlando to visit um, for Christmas. So it was nice. He introduced us to his girlfriend. 
and uh, it was it was very nice. It was nice, you know, family time, and then New Year's. I I started twenty twenty four. Um, you know, big. We we went to you know this place in South Beach that was doing like fireworks and like you know fire dancers and you know cool stuff. So it was cool to bring in the New Year, uh, celebrating you know celebrating life and that you know you're you're seeing another year. Yeah. Oh but yeah. yeah. It was good. But exactly. You know. I wake up every morning thanking God for waking me up every morning. And the moment I do that, I'm like, all right, let's go at it. We got a yep. lot of stuff to do. We got a lot Seize of stuff the to do. day. Yes. <laughs> Yo, I'm so glad um, we're, ele we're elevating. So that's so awesome. I wish you tons of success in 2024 and perfect health. You and your family is so awesome. Uh, Miami, if I ever come through, I'm going to pull up. Yo, I got a show. Or, hey, maybe you might have a show. You need an opener. I'm going to be like, yeah, I'll be coming that date as well. I'm going to come through. So super cool and um i'm just super grateful you came on the show thank you so much the last couple questions here go like this um what are what are you focusing for 2024 yeah so well collaborations is a huge thing that i've been focusing on for this year i feel like that's very important especially as a rising artist to collaborate with as many people as you can because there's always new eyeballs you know looking out and, and, and being curious about who you are and your music. So very important collaborations. That's what I'm focusing on this year. And also uh, focusing on my merch as well. I just, okay. you know, I had launched my sugar daddy bucket hat Woo! and my crop tops, but I, you know, I definitely want to, you know, put out some more new things. So that's going to be a, a big focus uh, this year is, you know, building that merch and, and building that, uh, you know the 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 fans that want to have this merch and which i think you should because why not like sugar daddy bucket hat it's 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 great it's great it looks good for everything you could take it to festivals you could take it on a picnic you could take it everywhere um maybe not to church i wouldn't reckon i wouldn't you know tell you guys to take the sugar daddy hat to church but you know any anywhere else anywhere else you can rock it and uh, yeah, so that's one of that's both of my focuses and getting more, uh, being more opener. I, I, I liked I've been I've opened a couple yeah. of shows last yeah. year and I want to I want to get more. Yep. I love being an opener. I love it. They're like, do you mind being an opener? I was like, no, I will take be I will take it. I love being opener. Yeah, take uh, take it and before you know before somebody else thinks, and then you have no no way to show your stuff. You know, being an opener has taught me to be patient, and you know, and and because you know, usually when you're the opener, you're not singing to a lot of people, and then you know, it can get very frustrating because you're like, oh, like everybody, you know, at least Miami, everybody runs on Miami time, so they're never on time anywhere. So as an opener, you do suffer a lot with like not getting all the people that are going to be there. So it does get frustrating, but Hey, I always perform like there's thousands of people in front of me and I always give them that same energy as I would to, you know, a crowd that's bigger. And, you know, it's, it's very, it's a very humbling experience for an artist. So yeah. Straight up. No, that's it's an amazing experience. I love it. It's an exciting experience. We got three minutes yeah. left. I'm about to drop the video. We need everybody. Oh yes. Going. Drop sugar daddy. Before we go, you got to drop the music. Video. Drop it in here soon. V O C A L L Y T A S H. That's vocally Tosh. That's V O C. Let's go. Listen, yep. this is vocally how people Tosh. are. <laughs> this is how people are not gonna forget it now. I bet. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just know. I'm just know. guys. Make sure you blow it up right now. Like, comment, share, say, follow. You got the link tree. Go check out all the links as well. Go check out our website. It's amazing. NatashaRumbosMusic.com. Their merch, everything. It's so professional. All right. We're about to close it out with Sugar Daddy. Last question, Natasha. Last question before we go out. What, if someone is going through a tough time, what advice would you give them? You know, that's a very great question. The way I get through, you know, tough times is try to have a positive mindset. You know, it, it, it's very, it's it's easy to look at the negative stuff and it's hard to find something positive in anything that's happening to you and just know that, you know, this is a challenge that you're going to get through and it's going to make you an even better person and you're going to learn a lot from it. So 
don't, you know, don't dig yourself in the hole. You just keep positive mindset and you're going to get through it. You're going to get through it. There it is, guys. Positive mindset. Have a positive mindset. We got the exclusive right here, Sugar Daddy from Natasha Rumbos. Thank you so much, Natasha. This means the world. Guys, check it out right now. I'm about to blare it right now. Thank you for listening. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Watching this is Sugar Daddy. Nice. DJ, switch the lights. Remember, this song is on a uh, Spotify playlist. Yeah. You can find it anywhere. Apple Music, Pandora, anywhere you listen to music, you search Natasha Rumbo's Sugar Daddy, and you will see it.